Get ready for another host at home, Adams Archives. The following program is designed to meet the educational and informational needs of children. This is Jennifer. She just got done by her boyfriend yesterday, but she won't tell us why. Come on, again, please. I want to know. Please, please, please. This is Adrian. He was in the mall talking to some girls, and his friend snuck up behind him and pulled down his pants. Boxers and all. And this is Sarah. She was acting so wild and crazy in her audience that we just decided we needed her on the show. This is your lucky break, Sarah. These three players are going to take a wild trip around our life size game board as they try to survive. The pressure. All right, you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. You ready to get started? Yeah. We have four different categories. We have decision, temptation, a job, and fast chat. And when you hear this sound, get ready for a pop quiz, okay? All right, now backstage, you flip the coin and see who will start the game off. And Adrian, you won the toss? Yes, I did. So you're the man, buddy. Let's go, Let's go on over to see which category comes up. All right, and it's an odd job for four spaces. And Adrian, Valerie does not do windows, but guess what? You do. So, if you can clean Valerie's window until you see her great smiling face, you'll move on down four spaces, okay? So, you only have 25 seconds. Get on over there and get scrubbing. doesn't do windows. Okay, Adrian, that means you can move on down four spaces. Okay, Jennifer, you're up. Let's see which category comes up for you. All right, and it's a decision for four spaces. You've been dating this guy and you really like him. You want to get serious, but he still wants to see other people. Do you stop dating him? You would stop dating him, Jennifer? Well, what you have to do, we gave the period the same question. So to earn your four spaces is tell me what decision you think the majority of the period would make. Do you think they'd stop dating, yes or no? Yeah, I think they'd stop think dating. They would? Why? Because people need commitment sometimes. Okay, so if, if commitment or nothing? Yeah. Okay, well, peer group, would you stop dating, yes or no? Yeah! Okay, Jennifer, well, 40% said yes, they'd stop dating, and, all, and 60 said no, they wouldn't stop dating, so you're actually not right. Okay, Sarah, you're up. Oh, guys, that's so easy. It's time for a pop quiz. Is everybody ready? Okay, we have two buzzers. One is over there by our truck, the other one's behind me over here by the monitor. I'm going to read you a question, and as soon as you think you know what the answer is, run to the nearest buzzer and buzz in. If you're right, you move up three, but be sure of your answers, because if you're wrong, you fall back three. Here's your question. What Italian currency would Adam Sandler's Saturday Night Live character, Opera Man, use to pay for a meatball sandwich? A, pesos, B, liras, or C, yen? Okay, what do you think it is? Liras? He's right! Yeah. Adrian! Yeah. That means you get me up three spaces, go on three. One, two, three, good job. Yeah. Okay, Sarah, yeah. you're up. Let's see which yeah. category comes up for you. All right, and it's a fast track. These are always worth eight spaces. It is the biggest movie you can make in pressure, but they're always the toughest. And you're on the game show, Fast Track. And it's time again for the Super Duper Tournament of Incredibly Smart Champions. It's our final round, and you're playing against the biggest champion of all, Myron. It's down to the last two questions. And if you can beat Myron to the buzzer and answer either of them, you win the tournament and eight spaces down the game show Fast Track. All right, so go on over there with Valerie to the buzzer. And I will read you the questions. Here's your first question, guys. How many times does the letter E appear in the words peer pressure? How many times, Sarah? Four. Oh, she's right, guys. Okay, okay, okay. So just for fun, let's give the last question. If the Brady Bunch kids went for a ride with the Spice Girls, how many people would be in the car? Oh, Myron, what is it? Eleven! Oh, he's right, but you know what, Myron? She beat you the first one, so goodbye, Myron. Sarah, get up here. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. OK, 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, get up. Sarah, you won. She can move on down eight spaces. Adrian, you're up. Let's see which category comes up for you. Okay, and it's a temptation. I always work to. Valerie, what are we gonna tempt our man Adrian with? So Adrian, young man, you know what time it is? Nope. I was noticing you weren't wearing a watch, so this is gonna come in handy. See what I got for you is this lovely fossil watch. You guys see this? It's got a stainless steel case bracelet, and it's water rated to 165 feet. That means that you can swim in it. You can swim, right? Yeah. Okay. And I've also got these lovely fossil sunglasses. I'm willing to give you the watch and the sunglasses. They're worth more than $100. I'm gonna try these on just to make sure. Yeah, you yeah. look good, Adrian. I'm willing to give this all this to you for two measly spaces. I'll two take spaces. it. Oh, he's crazy. No oh, question, Adrian. I take it. I take it. All right, step back yeah. two spaces yeah. right there. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Well, Adrian got himself some nice accessories. Sarah's in the lead. That looks like Jennifer's way back there. But remember, the two lucky players in the lead at the end of the show will get a chance to go on to our pressure cooker round. So don't go away. There's a lot more to happen. Your girlfriend thinks your friends are total losers, and she wants you to dump them. Do you? I couldn't dump friends of many years for a date that I just met. I'm sorry, you lost. Okay, Jennifer, you're up. Let's find out which category comes up. And it's our jobs for three spaces. And uh, Jennifer, our contestant coordinator, Lisa, thinks you need a little more spunk, a little more energy. So she's personally going to give you a 20-second workout to re-energize you. If she thinks you can keep up with her, we'll let you move on down three spaces. You got 20 seconds. Get over there. Are you ready? Here we go. Two, so you get two more. Good job. Okay. Sarah, you're up. Let's find out which category comes up for you. All right, and it's temptation. Always worth two. I have this lovely RCA forehead VCR with VCR Plus programming system, simplified on-screen setup, and universal remote control. Found out the big words, Nick. Hollywood. Hollywood. You can. At, at Hollywood Video, we have gift tickets where you can rent more than 12,000 movies. You want entertainment? Go to Hollywood to Home Video. It's worth over $300, but you can have it for just two spaces. Win or lose, you can have this home. You want it? Yeah. And you get the camera. And if you leave it with a home video. Okay, so you got to step back to your spaces now. Okay, Adrian, this is kind of where it comes up. All right, and it's a decision. Your friend had two tickets to the Puffy in Paradise concert. He took a date instead of you. He stayed out so late, he didn't get around to his homework. Do you let him copy your homework? Yeah, I let him. You let him copy? Yeah. E even though he uh, didn't bring you? Yes, that's my boy. Get OK, my well, boy. Adrian, to earn your five spaces, tell me what you think the decision the period would make. Do you think that uh, let him copy, yes or no? Yeah, I think so. You think so? I think so. OK, wh why? I mean, it's just I mean, just you, you got to help your buddies? friend out. I mean, you know. Well, period, what would you do? Would you let him copy, yes or no? <laughs> oh, Adrian, it doesn't look too hopeful. Actually, 85% of the parents said, no way, we're not letting him copy. Uh -huh. He should have brought me to the concert. <laughs> and 15% say, yeah, we let him copy. Okay, Jennifer, you're up. Let's see which category comes up for you, Jennifer. All right, and it's temptation, worth two as always. Right, what do you got, Val? Jennifer, thank you, Nick. Oh, you're welcome. I have this absolutely fabulous Spirit of St. Louis field series style boombox. It has an AM, FM radio, cassette deck, and a CD player. Music keeps you flying high with the spirit of St. Louis from Poly Concept. Now, you know none of your friends have this, right? It is worth over $300. I'm going to give it to you for two spaces. Win or lose. If you take it, it's only two spaces. It is okay. So we won here. Yes. You're taking it? OK, yes. here we go. When we come back, we'll find out what two lucky players will be going at the end. The press took around. Please, today's big grand prize winner. Don't go away. Come back and see. 
would happen. Okay, Sarah, you're up. Let's see which category comes up for you this time. Okay, and it's an odd job worth six big spaces. And Sarah, you know our crew's been working really, really hard today, and I think they're getting a little hungry. So, show them your appreciation by whipping up a batch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you can do six in 30 seconds, you'll earn six spaces. So, Valerie, show her what to do. Come on, you gotta be quick with the hands. So you don't get to move anywhere. Go back over there with your VCR. <laughs> okay, Adrian, you're up. Let's see which category comes up for you. All right, and it's a decision worth three spaces. You put Vaseline on the coach's whistle just before gym class. Now he's lined up the whole class and is threatening to make everyone do 50 push-ups if the guilty party doesn't step forward. No one knows it was you, so do you admit to it? Yeah. You would admit it to everyone else? I, I would admit it. Okay, well, to earn your three spaces, you have to tell me what decision you think the majority of the peer group would make. Do you think they'd admit it, yes or no? No, I don't think you so. You don't think so? Nobody knows. I mean, come on. So you think they're just going to try and get no away room, with it? No. Yeah. no? Okay. Well, what, what would you guys do? Would you admit it, yes or no? Yeah! Adrian, you're yeah. right. 78% of the peer group said, no way. I'm not saying anything. Silence. 22% said, yeah, they're saying something. So, Adrian, you're right. That means you get to move on down three spaces. One, one, two, three. Good job. All right. Jennifer, you're up. Let's see which category comes up this time. All right, and it's a fast track, a huge move for you, Jennifer, a move that you need. It's worth eight spaces. The biggest move you can make, but it's always the toughest. And it looks like you are on the NBA fast track, and you've just been named the new head coach of the newest pro basketball franchise, the Hollywood Honchos. But... The Jeff wasn't so good to you, and here's your new starting center, Lena. Now, if you're a good enough coach, and you can get Lena to hit at least one of her two free throws, you will move on down eight spaces. If you don't, we'll give you two for trying. So go on over there. Sit down. Give her the best advice you can, and see here. if she can make at least on, one Lena, of the two shots. Come on, Lena, I know you can do it. Come on. Give her good advice. Come on. Come on. Oh! That means you land and move right two, so you get two more. Go on. Good job. All right, guys. That's what that means we're ready for another pop quiz. Are you all ready? Put down your stereo so you can run when you know what the answer is. The first one to buzz in with the correct answer moves up three. But if you're wrong, you fall back three, so be sure of your answers. Here's your question. If you had a friend named Bjorn who was born on the fjords in Oslo, in what country was Bjorn born? A, Germany. B, Norway. You got to answer, Sarah, if you run off. What is it going to be? Sweden? No. Aww. It's actually Norway. Good try. Hi, All right, Sarah. You got to move back three spaces. Come on. She's picking up her face. Sarah, let's go. One, two, three. OK. But here's your chance to make a comeback, because you're up. Let's see which category you get. OK, and it's a decision for four spaces. Your best friend and your brother are dating. When you're out one night, your best friend totally flirts with every guy there. Do you tell your brother? To yeah, earn your four spaces, you, you have to tell me what decision you think the majority of the pig would make. 
Do you think they'd tell their brother, yes or no? So. You think so? Yeah. Why? Because he's your brother, you know, you're closer to him than to even your best friend and his family. Blood is thicker than water, like they say, right? Okay, Pierre, would you tell your brother yes or no? Okay, well, you know what, sir, you're right. 90% said, heck yeah, we're telling our brother. And only 10% said no, probably because they don't have brothers. But, sir, that means you can move on down four spaces. Go on, two, three, four. So not much was lost for you. Oh, and that sound means that we're out of time. And it looks like Jennifer and Sarah, both of you are in the lead. So the two of you will be going on to the pressure cooker round. But we'll find out which one's going to be today's big grand prize winner. I would definitely tell my brother if his girl was flirting. That's my job. He would do the same for me. Oh, I would I would tell my brother, of course, because you have to decide friends over family. And if she was dissing my brother, then she wouldn't be no longer a friend of the family. The winner of this week's prize giveaway is Keisha David of Chicago, Illinois. Keisha has won the Casio Phone Mate phone. Casio phone makes 900 megahertz DSS cordless phone with call waiting caller ID. Utilizes the Rockwell chip technology for the ultimate range, clarity, and security. Only from Casio phone mate. If you would like to win some of the great prizes you see on Pressure, send a postcard with your name, address, telephone number, and age to Pressure Prize Giveaway. PO Box 1350, Hollywood, California, 90078. It looks like Myron has made a friend with Adrian over there. Aren't we great here? Okay, you guys, we are down to the pressure cooker round, and we have two players left, Sarah and Jennifer. Now, I'm going to ask you questions about anything and everything, and all you got to do is try and match your answers with the peer group. The first of you to match three with the peer group will be today's big grand prize winner. Okay? Now, Jennifer, you had to lead in the first half of the show, so you get the advantage of the first question. Are you ready? Okay, here we go, guys. You woke up late for school. Do you still take a shower? Peer group, yes or no? Jennifer? No. The peer group would. That's not a match. Sarah, do you wish you had more brothers or sisters? Peer group, yes or no? Sarah? No. Ethan, is the peer group about to match for you? <laughs> Jennifer, have you ever walked out in the middle of a movie? Peer group, yes or no? Yes. Jennifer? The peer group hasn't. That's not a match. Sarah, if you found a wallet full of cash, would you turn it in? Peer group, yes or no? Sarah? No. The peer group would. That's not a match. <clears throat> Jennifer, are your parents cool? Peer group, yes or no? Jennifer? No. The peer group doesn't think so either. That's a match for you. Good job. Sarah, your friend is wearing a dorky outfit and asks you if you think it looks cool. Do you lie? Peer group, yes or no? No, I tell her Sarah? the truth. They think so, too. That's a match. Good job. Jennifer, do you spend more money than you save? Peer group, yes or no? Jennifer? Yes. Yeah. So is the peer group at the match? We have a tie. But, Sarah, if you get this right, you're the winner. Here you go. Are tattoos cool? Peer group, yes or no? Sarah? Yes. The yeah. peer group doesn't think so. It's not a match. Jennifer, here's your chance. Do you floss every day? Peer group, yes or no? Jennifer? No. The peer group does, not a match. Okay, Sarah, here you go. Do you think you could cut your own hair? Peer group, yes or no? No. Sarah, the peer group doesn't think so either. So that makes you guys big winners. Good job, Sarah. Jennifer, you didn't win, but you got yourself a great stereo, and we have some great parting gifts for you. So, Valerie, Tell Jennifer what's going now. We're getting ready to go have some pizza over there. So let's take our little boom box and have our little party Sarah, going. You're the winner. So let's find out what you want. Six Flags Theme Park. It thrills for you and your friends with one-of-a-kind rides, exciting shows, and fun for everyone. And you'll get five annual passes good at any Six Flags theme park throughout the U.S. There's a Six Flags near you. Six Flags. So big, so fast, so close. And Harvard Serious Play, mobile basketball system. Now, basketball can be portable, even for the serious play. The serious play mobile system from Harvard. All right, Sarah, congratulations. You're some great prizes. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. 
That's it for now. We'll see you next time with another wild adventure of expression. Until then, see ya. DK Publishing takes you on the adventure of a lifetime. Wonderful books and CD-ROMs reveal the marvels and mysteries of the world. DK Publishing, where learning comes to life. America Online. So easy to use, so easy to get started. With email, instant messages, and a buddy list, it's the easiest way to keep in touch. AOL. Sign up today. Sundown Herbals presents its remarkable twist and learn label. It helps you learn about herbs simply by turning the label. Sundown Herbals. Where to turn for help. People all over the world love soccer because it's so much like real life. You have to work hard, choose the right path to reach your goal. You have to keep moving forward and avoid obstacles like drinking, smoking, doing drugs. These things will only stop you in your tracks. You just gotta use your head, you know? Make smart decisions and stay in control of your game. Winning can be just as easy in real life if you don't drink, don't smoke, and don't do drugs. I'm Matthew Lawrence, asking you to make the right decisions right now.